Our coverage of the coronavirus outbreak continues now. We are paying for the mistake we did 10 to 14 days ago. Right now, Italy has the world's highest reported death toll from COVID-19. Hospitals are packed with patients as the country scrambles to try and contain the outbreak. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal spoke with a former Hartford resident now in Italy. Aya, he has an urgent warning for all of us here in the United States. Kevin, that message is simple, and it's what health experts have been telling us for days. Stay home so this virus stops spreading so quickly. In Italy, more than 4,800 people have passed away from the coronavirus. It's a tragedy. On Friday, officials announced 627 new deaths, the largest single day toll anywhere in the world since the outbreak began. I never felt so stressed in my life. We are doing our best, but maybe it's not, it's not enough. In the country's north, hospitals are flooded with patients, and now many are pointing to Italy as an example of what can happen when people defy social distancing guidelines. You realize day after day that you're losing friends. Paolo Trofino is an attorney working for an international firm. The former Hartford resident lives in Aversa with his family, not far from Naples. Streets in his hometown are empty, as Italians have been ordered to stay home. He fears some in the U.S. don't realize how grave the situation can quickly get. It seems to me that you are doing, making the same mistake we did 10 days ago. The government was telling us to stay home and we kept going out. And now those actions are haunting the country's health care system. It's a war and our army is made of doctors and nurses. Paolo wants other countries to learn from the mistakes Italy made. He says it'll only be a matter of time. You realize more than ever before that uh, the other's well-being depends on your actions and your well-being depends on their actions. Paolo, his wife and 16-month-old twins have been staying home for the last 11 days amid the national lockdown. And if there's any positive to have come out of this horrific outbreak, it's allowed families and communities to come closer together for the collective good of society. We have a real opportunity to, to rediscover ourselves and our families and the way we interact with that. And Italy is using its military to help enforce the nationwide lockdown, but leaders say sadly the number of cases and deaths continue to rise. Live in the newsroom, Aya Glal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Oh,